Welcome back to the channel and today I'm super excited for the first time to be jumping into the new Trailmakers 1.7 Space Bound update. This officially releases on October 31st, but I am thankful to have access to the preview branch to show you guys just uh, what this is going to be all about and to experiment with some things. So let's just hop in to a single player sandbox and here it is, the space sector. Explore different planets, fight space pirates, and find your place among the stars. All right, so we have regular sandbox and we have peaceful sandbox. I'm going to hop into regular sandbox for the full experience, the danger zone. Well, no, this is not the danger zone. This is the space sector. The danger zone is another another specific map. Here we go. Entering Galena 9, it said. So if we look down on the bottom left, we are actually in a 1G atmosphere. So this is what normal gravity apparently uh, looks like in the Trailmakers universe. So let's uh, talk to the Tripo here. Welcome to the Galena 9 Space Station, Trailmaker. I am Captain Speck. You can call me Captain. This sector is especially interesting because of the weird gravity. The gravity pulls from the top of the planets, making their surfaces flat. Good explanation you got there. Most peculiar. Peculiar indeed. Lots of stuff happening over here. There's chirpo thing. There's chirpo stuff on that one. All right, as we continue on, I will have you know that um, I do not have the DLC active right now. So everything you're going to see in this video is the free aspect of the update. There is going to be an additional DLC that is uh, available with the update, but everything you're seeing right now is not the DLC. It is just the free update. I will make another follow-up video where I do actually enable a DLC and you'll be able to see um, all that stuff that is included. So looks like we've got, uh, I remember seeing previews of this actually all the textures and everything look so much better than we, we had in the preview videos so we have all the different planets and stuff we got chirpos hanging out oh this sector contains four fascinating planets check the consoles for more information all right i was way ahead of you so interesting that we have 1g in the space station it, it makes the most sense i guess if that's where we're gonna have 1g oh 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 here we go the funky fungus planet mycoterra this planet contains many exotic flavors or flowers i it has the potential to bring a whole new dimension to Chirpo astronomy. I'm not reading fast enough. What do you got to say? Nothing? All right, what about you guys? You got something to say about Hullroom? Oh, oh, somebody. The mysterious planet of Hullroom. It seems barren, but our scanners indicate that there might be something hidden under the surface. Oh, well, let us explore on. All right, we got... Oh, wh wait, where do these go? Hold on, there's these, uh, these hallways. I don't know. Wh where are you go? Where are you taking me? Is this where I'm- wait, am I taking essentially the stairs? Wait, where- oh, what? Whoa! I wasn't expecting this. Wait, what is this? Can I go in here? There's a bunch of doors, but it doesn't seem like I can open these doors. Oh, there's a chirpo! I went all the way around, and now there's a chirpo over here. There is something ominous, ominous about that wreck floating around out there. It just appeared one day. We didn't hear any signs of fighting. Some say it's the mythical flying Borkman, but I don't uh, believe in such fairy tales. The flying Borkman, you say? All right, oh, this goes down even further. Okay, let's continue our way downward. If you're applying to the homeworld of the cheer post, remember to apply for your Chisa at the information desk upon landing. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like we are... I think the elevator takes us down there. Here, I'm going to go back around this. Oh, another chirpo. What's this chirpo going to say? Oh, follow this corridor to get to the hangar bay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Oh, look at that. There's the, uh, the, the campaign ship. And, oh, a chirpo ship is flying by. All right, there's so much fun. Oh, there's more chirpos. What are you guys all doing here? The flavors in this, they did say flavors. What, why are you saying flavors? Oh, it must be the mushroom extract from that amazing planet. What was the name again? Mushroomy? And then they call it Miko Terra. Such a weird name. I like Mushroomy more. Hey, it's the Trailmaker. That's me. Nice to have you on board. You can tell I'm the Trailmaker because of my footprints. All right, there's a lot more... There was a lot more stuff on this little detour I took than I expected. All right, does it go back up? All right, let's go back up. I want to take the elevator down because I feel like that's the intended way to go down. Can I build? Oh, I can. I can build when I'm inside the, the spaceship. Eh. Nah, I'm gonna build my own for now. All right, let's get on the elevator. There we go, doors close. Elevator descending. I see there's the walkway I was on right over there. All right, let's see what these chirpos got to say about the quantum rudder. Welcome to the hangar bay, your gateway to space. 
Our space engineers have been hard at work creating an ama the amazing quantum rudder. It is highly recommended for space exploration. Please check the consoles for more information. Here we go. There is no drag in space making turning really hard. This is why we have created the quantum rudder. It will align your movement direction with your vehicle's direction. It makes your movement manageable by slowing you down and it gives you the ability to pitch up and down. Oh, the quantum rudder gives you the ability to pitch up and down? To get the desired effects, place it horizontally facing backwards. I didn't know that it had pitch. I thought it was just a direct, like a drag. Okay, that's interesting. That's how, I'm glad I actually looked at that. I thought I knew everything I, there was to know about the quantum rudder based off the dev diaries, but there's a little bit more. Shield. Oh, 99% of the space is pretty uneventful, but we are in the 0.1% that's highly dangerous. Great place to be. You should put an energy shield or two on your spaceship. It can't hurt, literally. It will protect against incoming projectiles, but will temporarily be disabled if hit by an EMP. All right, looks like we had even more over here. We got gyro stabilizer. What's this guy got to say? My ship got blown up by space. Wait, here? It got blown up here? Oh, the only reason to make it back here is because I had my towel. Always remember to bring a towel. Don't forget to bring a towel. All right. I haven't heard that in a while. The unique gravitational pull of this sector is required a new kind of triple technology, the gyro stabilizer. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, so it just, it, wherever the gyro stabilizer is pointing is where it's going to try to stabilize you two. All right. What do you guys got to say? I just can't wait to get back out there. Why? It's dangerous. Me too. My feathers are itching to teach those pesky. Oh, they want to teach them a lesson. Okay. Just look at what they did to little Tim's ship. Oh no, little Timmy. Don't worry, he brought a towel. All right, what is it? All right, then we have the regular gyro here. Once we develop the gyro stabilizer, next step seemed obvious. Depending on how you rotate the gyro, it will turn your ship around that axis. All right, it, it's that simple. It's that simple, people. All right, and one final chirpo to talk to here. I'm just stuck pondering the edge again. The edge of the universe, that is. Ooh, it is said that this sector is looping. It makes it seem like there is no edge. But how can that be? All right, well, you know what's left to do. It is time to build our first spaceship. And there is exactly one thing that I want to do. So first, as far as DLC goes, you can see there is the spaceship cockpit fighter, spaceship fighter cockpit. Oh, ban block. Oh, is, I think that's new. Wait, if I right click. Oh, you can ban the block. So I think if you have your own server for multiplayer, um, you can prevent people from using certain blocks on those servers. Interesting. So then if you want to host a multiplayer server where you don't have DLC, you can actually ban the DLC blocks so people can't use them. Yeah, so we do not have access to the space fighter cockpit. So I'm going to use just a normal spaceship cockpit because we're in space. Oh, look at the new rotating things. Oh, that's actually really nice. You can actually go back and forth instead of having to re-rotate around to whatever you meant to do. I like this. Okay, I just gotta get used to... Oh, they change. They keep changing. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta get used to what, what the... These arrows confuse me for a second. All right, there we go. Yeah, I guess we have kind of like a whole new build system here. Oh, this... I'm so used to clicking on the rotation right here. It's actually gonna take me a little bit to get used to where I have to click now. Hundreds of hours with a certain way. When change happens, I don't know what to do. All right, so I'm just gonna like... I just really... Oh, here we go. The space thruster. Wait, no, no, no. I don't even need all this. I was thinking I had to use the dragon thruster. So you can see we now have a space thruster, which is included for free. However, the rocket engine is going to be part of the DLC. So I'm going to use the space thruster. I'm just going to go out into space. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Look, I, I actually have control via seat controls. I am entering deep space right now in the simple. Look at my speed. It's pretty stable. Yeah, we have no drag. All right, I'm going, here I go, here I go. All right, I've just increased my speed. When I stop putting the thrust, you can see it is stable. We're at 280 kilometers an hour. We gotta find out right now. Can you break the sound barrier in space? Is there going to be a sonic boom? And I'm gonna reach the edge of the uh, map when I do this. I can stop right at the, uh, the speed too. It is so cool. Just watching the speedometer lock in place when you release it, it's awesome. All right, here we go. All right, we're getting close. Is there gonna be a sonic boom? There is no sonic boom in space. We've just broken the sound barrier technically, but we do not get the sonic boom cone. All right, so when it comes to uh, dealing with breaking the sound barrier, 
with the new uh, thrusters and stuff, I'm going to have to go back into a normal map for that, which obviously I should anyway, just because, uh, you know, it's kind of cheating without drag. Oh, it happened. It happened. I went through the other side. This is so weird to control. All right, I'm trying to like go downwards now. Like, see, this is why I'm going 2000 kilometers an hour. This is why uh, space, it needs drag. This is why it's like, like, it's just so, it doesn't even look like I'm going that fast, but this is like the fastest maintained speed. You would never be able to do this on a normal map. 3000 kilometers an hour. I should have added more thrusters just so I could go faster. Wow, you can actually go really far away from everything. I wasn't expecting, I, was thought, I really thought I was gonna hit it sooner. There it is. If I look this way, there it is. All right, so the speedometer is going kind of crazy now. Like, look at the, <laughs> I don't really think it knows what to do. So I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna test the limits quite yet. I just wanted to uh, see what the edge of space felt like. Now let's actually start experimenting with all the pieces. I'm gonna try to play the game somewhat normally and just show off what all the capabilities are. And then we'll start pushing some limits. Oh, here we go. Gyro, gyro stabilizer, quantum rudder. It takes one power core to use a quantum rudder. Let me see what the controls are for the quantum rudder. So if I put these here, now let's see how this feels different. Oh yeah, now look at how I'm flying. This is so much different. Yeah, I can feel it. I feel the quantum rudder. You know, I need to get rid of seat controls though. I don't know how much the seat is really doing there. So if I disable air control, now it is purely quantum rudder that is gonna be affecting this. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Do you actually see it? Why aren't my quantum rudders glowing, by the way? Oh, interesting. We have strength. It adjusts the power of the inertial stabilization and the turn rate adjusts the sharpness of the steering. If I go to color. Whoa, is it, is it just me or do we have a lot more color? We have a lot more colors now. Okay, so the quantum rudder is by default. Is that why? Because I had it on black? Oh, <gasps> whoa, look at this. Okay, hold on. Whoa! Okay, so pro tip, if you set your secondary color to black, you can essentially turn off your quantum rudder trail. Accidentally discovered that. So now when I press the buttons to control it, you can see that it creates this rotation animation. That's super cool. Does it do that when I'm not moving? Let me see. Yeah, that is what it is. I thought that the glowing was when it was actually encountering like a quantum resistance, but no, that is actually the control of it giving you uh, like pitch. So then can I do yaw? If I, if I do it like this, does this now give me quantum yaw? Let's find out. Yeah, so you can use the quantum rudder as a gyro, interestingly enough, but we don't need that. We're gonna use a gyro here. I'm just gonna put this gyro, I'm just gonna stick it right in there. I'm gonna put these quantum rudders back where they are. So now this gyro, we have red and green. So if red is A and green is D. All right, so now I should be able to, whoa, it's so stable. The gyro is so stable. Like it just stops you immediately. I actually need to, actually, why am I backspacing? I can go into build mode in space. Whoa, look at the grid, that's new. That is kind of new. So now I can just immediately change the strength. I'm going to go up to five. Let's see how that feels. Whoa. This is crazy how, like, just how abrupt it is. Strength two. All right. This is actually feeling not too bad as far as, like, a controllable craft goes. I know I'm building the simplest thing right now, but it, because everything is so new, it's just so fun. All right, I want to I want to enter battle right now, even though I don't even have any weapons. Oh, oh, I almost crashed. The quantum rudders are taking a little bit of getting used to. All right, here we go. I'm getting shot at. This is exciting. This is exciting. Meat bag detected. Get on their tail and start blasting. Come at me, bros. You know what? I want to go inside the ship. Oh, no. Ow. Wait, how did I survive that? Oh, my windshield is not doing too well. All right, hold on. I'm going, I'm going to get inside. Here we go. Okay, it is very big and empty inside. Whoa, this could be the cool, this is like a really cool spot for some like high speed space battles. Just flying through here with the lasers going around. Oh, this is so fun. Ow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me go back, let me go back. 
All right, so now let me see what this gyro is all about. This has a single setting, a toggle. And here we go, I'll add it there. And I'll also, I'm just gonna duplicate these for the sake of symmetry. All right, so now, all right, it's off. When I turn it on, you can see me slowly revert back to straight. However, we do have the issue of the other gyro stabilizer, um, I think is fighting it. Let me just delete that one. So we only have uh, the gyro stabilizer and not the other gyro. All right, here we go. So now, actually now I don't have turning controls, but if I go upside down, you can see, look at that. Now it has a much stronger effect. It also has a strength setting. That was just strength one. If I go to strength 10, then check this out. Look at that. You see it automatically just tilt me over. If I go here upside down. Look at that. It's so strong. All right, ready? I'm going to try to tilt myself over. All right. Oh, look, at it. it's fighting me so bad. So this is only in one direction, though. Only in the horizontal. It's not fighting my hor It's not fighting my pitch. So if I do another gyro, if I copy this and if I do it uh, this way. Oh, oh, my goodness. So now I'm going to try to pitch up. See, I cannot, I can't even fight it. So these things are going to define self-balancing vehicles now. These auto, these gyro stabilizers are going to just make it so much simpler. All right, but I don't really want a gyro stabilizer because I want full controllability. So we are going to be using the gyros. Oh, look at this here. We have a large headlamp. That is pretty massive. And oh, here's the energy shield. Oh, now I, now I can finally see the settings on the energy shield. Here we go. So that is what the energy shield looks like right there. Oh, it was exactly like I was hoping. We have sliders for the different dimensions. Oh, so it can be, this is the big, the biggest it can get. And the smallest it can get is that right there. That is awesome. So vertical offset. Oh, so that's so you can get it to match up really well with uh, whatever the other half of the dome is gonna be. That's super cool. People are gonna be probably create crazy shapes with the shields themselves. This is gonna be a really, really unique thing to have. And as you can see, if I paint it red here, there's so many more red options, but uh, now I have a red looking shield. So you can totally change the colors. How much does it weigh? 50 kilograms? This is one of the heaviest things in the game right now. 50 kilograms for an energy shield. So you see now this right here, is where the vertical offset will come in handy. Let's go to the weaponry here because now we've got blasters and the EMP launcher. Oh, you can disable the reticle on the blasters. That's actually kind of good. But here, let's actually see what the blasters. My black color actually kind of turns it white. You can see there's a little bit of black in there, but it has a white outline. But now let's also add the uh, the EMP launcher. And you know what? I'm actually gonna have to get rid of this seat here because. <laughs> There's not enough attachment points on that seat. So I'm gonna use the good old plain cockpit here. Oh, found a pro tip. If you uh, select both your top and bottom uh, shields at the same time, then when you're doing the vertical offset, it's gonna just be so much easier. You can see them both going uh, and merging. So it's a lot easier to align them than rather, than rather than just doing one at a time. So that's good enough for me. So what I've essentially been trying to do here is create like the simplest build that uses all of the new freely available parts. And I'm almost there. I'm very, very close. We've got the shield blocks. We've got the, plas the blaster. We've got the EMP launcher. We've got the space thrusters. And we've got the quantum rudders. All right, let's take off. The simplest symmetrical space vehicle uh, I could have come up with on a quick, on just a quick uh, testing right now. So here we go. Now we can see, we can see how the uh, recharging and the fire, the, the number of shots we get out of the blasters and how they look as well is really cool. I have everything. My secondary color is red for everything. So you can see there's my shield. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's get into a, an engagement here. So it looks like my cap is around 416 kilometers an hour with these uh, space, these quantum rudders. I wonder if more quantum rudders slows you down more or not. And actually, I wonder if that's what the strength setting is. Wait, where are the, uh, aren't there supposed to be enemies over? Oh, there they are. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. All right, I didn't realize that they were right there too. I kind of want to see my shields get hit, but also I want to hit them. Come on. Oh, I ran out, ran out of ammo. 
There we go. All right, first kill of Spacebound. I'm gonna use my EMP now. All right, so he seems to, to kind of dive out of the way there a little bit. All right, let's, I'm gonna try it. Oh, there's the sound. I'm gonna try a little bit of first person in a second. I just wanna, want things to calm down for a bit here. All right, there we go. All right, here's first person without shields, with shields. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is actually really cool. Okay, first person is where it is at in space. This feels really nice to control, actually. This feels so smooth. Like compared to flying in the other in the other atmospheres, this feels really, really smooth. Yeah. All right, that's awesome. I also wanted to go and uh, say hi to this chirpo ship over here. I don't know if anything happens if I come up to this ship. Receiving transmission. Hello, Trailmaker. Hello. Do I got to stay close to him? I'm currently patrolling. Please don't get too far away. Controlling, patrolling the perimeter. I don't want any of those nasty space spirus sneaking up on us again. That would be the worst. He's got like a rainbow maker or something. So that's cool. There's actually a little bit of a dialogue option with this spaceship here. All right, let's go check out this spaceship real quick. I don't know if there's anything happening over here or if it's just kind of chilling out in the sky. Let me turn my shields off for now since I'm not really in battle. Entering GC4020. I don't know if there's a way inside this thing. What happens if I go inside the giant thruster? Uh, ow. Right, you know, I'm gonna do a little bit of modification here. I'm gonna delete a couple of these. But well, let me just see how fast do I go now? All right, so this definitely makes me faster with less quantum rudders. So there's that. Now if I go into build mode, and I change the strength down to 10. I am faster. So the strength is kind of the drag. So now I can go way faster. Oh, but see my my redirection ability? I drift way, way more. So now if I turn the strength all the way up to two, now my max speed goes from like, I was breaking 600 and now I'm at the same as when I had four with uh, strength one. So now I'm at back at 417. Okay, but you can see now my redirection ability is just way, way stronger. So that is what the strength setting is. All right, you know what I haven't tested out? What if I hop out in the middle of deep space here? Oh, no, wait, 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 come back. Come back. Oh, okay. All right, that's not too bad. Is it, it's still going, right? Okay, I have a lot of drag. My ship still keeps going though. That's interesting. Okay, so you can just kind of fall out in the middle of deep space, but if I press repair... Oh, I repair inside my ship. Okay, interesting. I was wondering how that was going to be handled here. Oh, I never even thought... I, I didn't even think about to open up the map. Oh, you can really see the size differences in the planets. So, we've got the ship as a teleport point. Galena and I, Hangar Bay. We have Hull Room, NASA, Dune... Uh, it looks like a chirpo landing site. Chirpo, yeah, those those landing sites are actually uh, spawn points as well as I was suspecting. Okay, the planets actually, when you zoom in, the planets get labels. Ancient tech labs. Okay, interesting. All room doesn't really have a label. That's because it's all inside. Sector one, two, three. The Appleton Crater. Miko Terra doesn't have anything either. I'm gonna fly into something. Ow! There's my shields. My shields are all the way out there. All right, and they're back. I feel like it's gonna be very, very hard in space to actually break, but I am kind of curious, what happens if you do rotate these? All right, so here we go. I have them on steering hinges. I'm flying straight right now, as you can see. And if I press this, interesting. Yeah, it has a weird effect, doesn't it? It kind of just changes the direction that you face. I don't know how that could be used yet. I feel like that could be used for something in space, but I haven't quite put it together yet. But just letting you know that this is the thing that can happen. All right, out of curiosity, I'm just going to change my secondary color on everything to something completely different. Let's just go with pink. Now I've got pink lasers and pink trails. So cool. Like, look at these colors. Look at these color options we have now. Like, all of these colors is gonna make military vehicles look so much better. Like, we have all of these darker colored, these darker browns and greens, and even more grays. The detail in the colors are gonna be so much... It, it, the workshop's gonna explode. The workshop is gonna go crazy right now. Alright, and really quick, I'm gonna add some yaw into this thing. 
So if I stick this in here, oh yeah, look at that. This is gonna just, this is gonna make everything, like all the other builds, like just look at how easy it is for me to just turn right now. All the other builds are gonna get so cool. This is awesome. So I think I've demonstrated pretty much everything that is available for free as far as a building goes. Like all within this craft right now is all of like the new free parts that you can use. I mean, we have the entire map to explore still. I've purposely not really gone to explore everything because I feel like those are entire episodes in and of themselves. And uh, yeah, I, d I think what I want to do first is go to NASA, the, the moon that has all of the loot on it and see what the loot's all about. But I think with what I've already done in this video, I have like more than enough to show off just all of the new stuff in this video. So this is all the stuff that is available for free. I might enable the DLC for the next episode. But yeah, there's so many more possibilities now. Let me know what kind of build would you like to see in future videos now that you have an understanding of how everything works, what kind of settings we have to play with on everything. Like there's so many things you could design now. So yeah, I'm definitely looking looking forward to some ideas down in the comments below. Everything you've seen in this episode is completely free with the update coming out on October 31st, and I'm looking forward to exploring some more with it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.